guys, welcome to my channel. Today is a lovely day to do some experiments with our solar panel here. In today's video, we are going to look at solar powered fridges. Here, I'm going to show you how to use this panel with batteries to power a fridge. Next, we're going to see what appliances can run directly on the solar panel without the use of batteries. And at the end, I will show you how to use this panel without batteries to power a fridge. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Right, so first up, we need a solar panel. What I have here is a 150 watt solar panel, which is placed on top of my roof and it's connecting down to my solar charge controller through these wires, which is going down into my shed. We will now go down and see the rest of the setup. So this is the wire which is coming down from our uh, solar panel. I have connected it here to our DC to DC step down converter, which is in turn connected to the PWM charge controller. And I'm using that to charge our 12 volt car battery. In the middle here, I have attached this uh, amp meter to show how much amps we are drawing from our solar panel when we are doing our tests. I'm keeping this uh, buck converter in the setup because today we are going to test the solar panel without batteries and the buck converter is ideal at regulating the voltage. Now I'm going to connect my 12 volt car battery using uh, these alligator clips to the inverter here. This here is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and using this I'm going to power my fridge. As you can see I have had to upgrade from my previous inverter because the previous one failed after two years of service. The reason was mainly on my fault uh, due to a power surge. Okay so we are connecting the inverter to the battery. Let's on it. And now we're going to connect our fridge to the inverter. As you can see this, this the fridge you can see in the background. There. That is how you run the fridge on solar panel. The important thing here to note is that this uh, inverter should be at least three to five times the power of, our, uh, of how much the fridge can run. This fridge is rated at 72 watts. So the minimum it has to be at least more than 200, at least around 300 watts to start the fridge. Now let's move on to the next step. We are going to run appliances from the solar directly through the inverter without the use of battery. So I'm going to remove this and connect the inverter directly to our solar panel using that buck converter. And we are going to run a few appliances like a, a one light, this fan here. And finally, we are going to attempt to run the fridge. So now we have disconnected the battery. After disconnecting the battery, to regulate the input voltage, we have to use this DC to DC step down converter. Here, now let's connect our inverter to this uh, input. And we'll power it on. Yes. It has powered itself on. Now we'll be testing a few equipment. First, we're going to test this light bulb. This is a 12 watt light LED light bulb. Let's see how it works. Works without any problem. Our solar panel is a 150 watt panel and uh, this is 
a 12 watt LED light bulb. Okay, now let's on this fan and see. This is the fan plug. Hope you can see it. Yeah. We'll plug it in. And let's see. Now the fan is an inductive load. It needs three to five times its power to uh, for startup. This is rated at 45 watts. So let's see if our 150 watt panel can power this. Yes. It has also powered on. So our 150 watt panel is able to power this uh, 45 watt desk, uh, uh, tabletop fan as well. Now, will it power up our fridge? That's what we are going to see now. Okay, so let's off this. Pull the plug off. Take the fridge plug. I hope you can see this. I'll turn this this side to so that you can see the fridge as well. Yeah. And now let's power on the fridge. It didn't on. So as you all saw, the fridge didn't start when we connected our solar panel directly to the inverter to start it. The reason is, it's an inductive load, and inductive loads need three times its uh, running power to start. So that means our fridge, which is uh, rated at 72 watts, needs at least 200 watts to start, whereas our panel input is only 150 watts maximum uh, during 12 noon. So there's no chance of it starting. So if you want to run your fridge off-grid using solar power, you either need a massive solar input, you need to add at least a small battery, or you can use supercapacitors. Here I have a small supercapacitor uh, super bank, which I'm going to add to my setup and show you how to start the fridge without the use of a battery. First. You have to charge this supercapacitor bank. This is how I'm charging it. Always use, a, use some resistor to charge the supercapacitors because they contain a large amount of current. And if you give a large amount, large amps directly into this, it might overheat and may explode as well. Okay, so now that they are almost fully charged, we'll connect them up to this uh, uh, inverters. You can see it's drawing seven amps inside while it's charging up. Once the amp starts, once once these amps stop flowing, we will do our test and again try to start the fridge. As you can see, the amp the amps have stopped flowing now, and the supercapacitors are connected right where the battery has to be connected. And now we'll attempt to start our fridge using the supercapacitors and solar panel only. No batteries involved. Okay, let's take a view of the fridge and we'll on the switch here. Yes, as you can see, it powered off flawlessly and now we are running the fridge directly from the solar panel without batteries using supercapacitors so this brings us to the end of the video my advice is at least factor in a small 12 volt car battery into your solar setup 
so that you won't get caught off guard. Like if a cloud passes over your panel, everything will shut down here, especially when you're running heavy induction loads such as the fridge. Right, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and share it among your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.